Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are discussing about RESTful Lava programming model. So far we have discussed about uh, behavior definition and uh, service binding. So in our last video we have uh, uh, created on a uh, read only applications. So if we check it here. So this is our uh, task application. So we have two tasks so far. This task, two tasks have created from the backend, and our corresponding task item is also mapped for the particular task. So of course, in the real world, uh, nothing will be updated in the backend. So we have to create or uh, update, delete everything will be should have to done from the front end. So. In this video, we are going to see how we can enable create update delete. Okay, uh, as you can see here, it's already enabled, but uh, we have to test is whether uh, it's working as expected or not. So what I'm going to do is I am going to do a simple create. I give a task ID three. Task name is a uh, test from UI. And uh, task status, I can select something from the value help. So, okay, let me try to create it. As you can see here, there is no data was populated, and we doesn't know the data has been created from the UIS. Right? If I go back, see all this task ID, task name, task status created on created it is coming as a default. So all the data was not filled and even it was either not read as well. So this could happen for one of the reason. We have not done like uh, uh, if the our database table is a uh, database table column is totally different from our uh, uh, CDS views columns. So nothing will data would not get transferred to the vivo layer. So data will not get mapped correctly. Okay. So I'm going to show you another uh, issue here. So let me do a create again. Task ID ID four. Second task. Here I give something. Okay. So here you could see the uh, error from the backend. The key value is already in use. Please enter a different one. So why we get this error? Like uh, in our previous scenario, it was created successfully. But uh, when we try to create a new task after that, it's giving key value is already in use, which means for a task key field has the similar value for this two cases. Okay, let's verify in our uh, database table. So, G task is covered uh, header database table. Let me check the data here. Okay, the first two entries has UIDs. Okay, task ID one two is there, and task name is also there. Status is also there. When we take a look at the third one, it has a empty UID, which means zeros, and uh, no task IDs, task name, task status. It could be the successful case of uh, task ID 3 but when we try to create the fourth task it will it will be the unit the it, the task UID will be the will not be generated and uh, you know save zero will try to get updated in the packet so that is the reason we get error here saying that the key value is already in use <coughs> Okay, let's go ahead and uh, fix this to issue. 
first i would like to fix the issue of uh, task id generation so for that i will delete this otherwise uh, whenever i try to create a new uid won't get generated so i go back here so if you check here yeah so television is working correctly it seems all right uh, let me go back to the behavior definition so this is my uh, base bevo behavior definition so i want to generate a uid okay so for the managed scenario we can do it so we should use simply numbering is managed so here i need to provide what is the uid column name so what is the uid column name task uid all right so this is for header level even uh, i have a task item uid in the item level as well so same problem would we occur there so what i do is i would like to generate uid automatically here as well manage task uid <clears throat> all right let me activate this okay it's got activated so i go back here simply i just reload this click on go okay now i try to create it so i give three so third pause Oh, so it has been updated successfully see i just go back okay so that you could be able to see right see here it's still empty okay so that was our uh, another issue let me try to create another task for for the task i give us one Create. So here, okay, assertion failed. Since there is some issues, yes. okay, let me go back and uh, check it here. Hmm. Okay. So still task ID. You could see the task ID is not there. Still, we are not able to do it. All right. Cancel this. So this probably could be an issue for the mapping only. I will delete this. So once I delete it here, I go back and delete here. So it will be updated here. All right. Okay. So the issue is. Uh, we have it, it this task uid has been generated by the framework but it was not mapped to our database table column okay so this is our second issue okay because here you could see the task underscore uid is the column but uh, when you cross check with the cds view it's a column of task uid so the framework doesn't know okay what column refers what values so for the reason so i'm going to map each the values for my database table my database table is gt g task open it okay so let me quickly for a demo purpose i will show one d this google id equal to task underscore usual ID okay
it's activated then i just go back and reload this let me try the same thing go to here create the third Okay, object was created or nothing was mapped. Fourth one. See, no errors now. And we could see the empty two tasks. If we go back and check, task database table okay we got uh, two uid generated and pass it to the i mean updated to the database table successfully so other fields also not updated because i have not mapped those fields right so let me quickly go back and uh, map those fields okay so i have mapped for uh, my header database table and uh, of course uh, item database table okay so let me activate this it's okay it got successful fine okay so what i do is i go back reload this Click on go. I don't want this to, so I'm deleting it. Okay, let me create a third one. Let's take this. Okay, so yeah, so here you could able to see the data. Let me go back and okay even now uh, in the read also we could able to see so which means data got updated correctly right as you can see the created on created at is not updated because we don't have any logic for that yes so let me create a item also let's say this is one sometimes one so due date I provide tomorrow sometime okay it got created and yeah it was successfully created let me try another thing okay. 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 it was created let me try for fourth one for the task two and uh, quickly I create for one task one okay perfect so everything is fine we are able to create uh, and delete and we have seen create and delete let's try to update something okay so for update we have a edit button here right so if you click here okay and if you want to change something update, click on save so it got updated so for item level also we have edit button select some date click on save so due date and uh, due date got updated successfully so yeah this is uh this is it about uh, create update delete for managed scenario framework will take care of creation updation and deletion so two things we have discussed today one is 
even though the my, uh, framework will take care of the create or take daily numbering we have to declare whether it's a managed or unmanaged or managed even framework will generate a UUID at the time of updation okay but uh, we have to somehow define it and mapping if your database columns is totally different than the CDS view columns mapping is must otherwise your values will not get updated in the database tables so yeah so this that's it uh, for today uh, thank you for your time have a good day